Ladies and gentlemen, Connie Russell. Census 46 is my right age, and since I've been a kid, I've been appearing on the stage. I headline at the Palace in Detroit, Duluth, and Dallas. When I was out in Hollywood, they said I did jolly good. I realized my ambition, making good in television. In fact, I've entertained in every place from coast to coast. But television is the medium that I like the most. What about radio? What a delivery. What'd you say to you? What about radio? Well, radio's on the beam. It has Huskies, Wheaties, Toshi, Schlitz, Wrigley's, Beaches, Crumbles, Ritz, King Nets, Borax, Oxidol, Hicks, Packs, Tootsie Roll, Lysol, Latex, Fidget Air, Limit, Libby's, Munsing, Wear, Flexes, Wheaties, GMC, Bowls, Bats, BBD, and the Easy Aces. Whatever happened to them? <laughs> but it hasn't got the courage and the bravery of Raymar of the Jungle and Pinky Lee. That's why I'd rather be a part of television. This is my home, sweet home. Please believe Hollywood. Out of breath. What'd you say? What about Hollywood? Good delivery, too. You're booked. <laughs> well, Hollywood is okay. It's got Clark, Gable, Betty, Grable, Walter, Abel, Warner, Stable, Right of Fable, Little Grable, and your Babel, Where a Sable, Booby Boss, Spectre Boss, Spectre Boss, Spectre, and Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I got a joke right here. We'll close the network. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't show you cigarettes with dancing feet or the toothpaste guarantee to make you kissing sweet. That's why I'd rather be. Part of television. This is my home sweet home. You want to know something? Television 
is fine and dandy. Hollywood and Broadway are dandy too, and that's what I'm after. I love to hear laughter from people just like you. There's just one place for me, and that's near you. Take it from me, I Kids, kids, it's very good. I'm very happy to see. It's nice to see my fans again. And may I tell you how happy I am to see you all. This, uh, this year, my show is going to be much different from any other show. I will definitely not be seen in color. Oh. <laughs> and I will not do a spectacular. My shows will be the most colorless and unspectacular shows you've ever seen. <laughs> now, I'll put that down in black and white. This, uh, this year, I'll put that down in black and white. We're here, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> This year, no, this year I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy. I really mean that. If I hear a good joke, I'm going to take it, and for me, that's easy. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it easy. I'm going to be on one week, and I'm going to be off one week. And I'm going to try to get the most glamorous, most beautiful Hollywood stars, Lana Turner, Ava Gardner, Jane Russell. I'll try to get them on my week off. <laughs> and from my week on, I'll be too weak from my week off to be on. <laughs> if I make a little suggestion. Not unless if it's not too suggestive. What is it? What is it? What you need is a big publicity stunt. Publicity yeah, stunt. Yeah, a big one. Yeah. Someone will get your name on the front page of all the papers. Yeah. Why don't you do something spectacular? There they go with a spectacular. Betty Hutton did that. The greatest spectacular happened up in Maine. Nobody mentioned it. They elected a Democratic governor. That's the greatest spectacular. <laughs> got Republicans in the streets here. No, no. What? I mean something really big. Something really... Publicity a great publicity stunt? stunt? Someone get your name on the front page of every paper. Like what? Like what? Like kill yourself. I would... <laughs> kill myself? Not dead. Just bleed a little. I would... Now, look, who sent you, Ed Sullivan? Look, I've got to go. I, I, I've got to go over here and get, get backstage and do my... How do you like this? How do you, how do you like somebody... Marking up my picture. Look, look you, what a, you see what I mean? I, listen, get get your hands off my filthy picture. Get your filthy hands up. Will you get your hands up? Why, Gary Cooper? <laughs> oh, gee, Mickey, you're doing it. Hiya, Mickey. All right, uh, Millie. It's wonderful. It's to good be to see you, Mickey. And I'm very, very happy. I'm so so wonderful to have you as my guest on my first show. Oh, it's nothing. I really mean that. You out in California doing your own television show and coming and flying in and doing a show for me. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> and about the money you're going to pay me? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I uh, I want to feel like I'm standing between two bookends here. Uh, this uh, I'd like you to say hello. This is the president of my fan club. This is your brother, Frank? I would... <laughs> no, my brother's living. Look, uh, funny, it's new, well, it's new to me. Um, Marlene, this <laughs> is uh, Mickey Rooney. You see Mickey Rooney, and he is, he's... He's over. He is going to be the first guest star on my show. You see, I don't need publicity. My sponsor gives me Rooney as my first guest star. Yeah, gives well, me Rooney. Mel, yeah. what, 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 it seems how I'm your first guest star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's go in and rehearse the show, shall yeah, we? Shall we? Please, let's go we to the go. theater. Goodbye, Excuse beautiful. us, please. Goodbye, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, gosh. <laughs> for a star like that when on his first show his own sponsor gives him a Mickey. Yeah. Well, Mickey, this is it. Guys, hi there, Steve. Don't be afraid. It's all right. It's all right. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Stage hand. No. This is the theater. This is the theater. This is where the... Uh, Gonna do the new show. I'm so thrilled. Last about year, it. last year, Mickey, we did the show from the Center Theater. Center Theater. And now this is the Century Theater. Century Theater. This is really a wonderful old theater. Gosh. Put your hat and coat down there on the piano. All right, fine. I'll oh. make myself at home. Will you do that? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Some great stars played here at the Century Theater, Mickey. Lawrence Olivier, mm -hmm. Ethel Barrymore, all the Sir greats. Cedric Hardwick. All the greats. Yes, sir. And now they put in all this equipment here into this and made this into a television studio for another great name. Who's that? I was... <laughs> Did I mention it? M.B. Oh, you mean the ever popular May Bush. I was... <laughs> Not May Bush, May Burl, I'm a Milton Burl. 
No, no, Wait. Mickey, I do my shows in this theater. You see, yes. some actors do their shows uh, on film, mm -hmm. but not me. You see, I, I, I'm i live. Want to bet? I was... <laughs> I mean, well, I do my show because I like to get close to my audience and I like to hear my audience laugh. I like to live dangerously, I like, huh? what do you mean? You know, there's a new thing out in Hollywood now, though, Milt, if I may suggest it to you. Yeah. In fact, we do all these, these shows on, on film. On film. And then we put in what we call a laugh track on the side. Call them canned laughs. Canned laughs? Canned laughs, that's right here. I brought along a can right here. Oh, yeah? I was going to be on your show. I thought maybe you'd use them. <laughs> <I> was, uh, <laughs> you right. buy these by the can, eh? Well, that's uh, right. how does it work? How does it work? Well, you see, if you want a little laugh... Uh, is it a good thing for... It, per, it's, it, to... it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. If you, want a, if you want a little laugh... Yeah? You open it just a little ways, you see? Now watch. Hey, this is a boon. <laughs> this is a boon to writers. Boon to writers. It's the biggest of... thing to comics since writers. Yeah, uh, what That's right. You want but a bigger laugh? Bigger laugh. You open a little wider. Beautiful. <laughs> you like that, Milt? Yeah. Now, if you want what they call a yucca beanie. A big scream. A real kind of a screamer. Yeah. You go... <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. But that's all. But you see, Mickey, I, I do a show. I, I, I like to do a show. Uh, you know, I don't like to put it on film. I do a show with a studio audience, and I, I like to get close to my audience all the time. You see what I mean? Why? Oh, call it madness. But that's what I want. Wait a minute. Look, yeah. look, 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 Milt. Look, I've got an idea for yeah, you. Yeah. Look, you could come in here right now. Yeah. And do all of the lines that you just showed me. Yeah. Right, you just read to all the people. Yeah. We could use this can. You could get Wait. tremendous laughs. Well, let me understand this. Yeah. This dull conversation that we had when we came in the theater just now, we could say these lines. Well, and you could you say get... anything you want. We get big laughs with the canned laughs. On straight lines? Straight lines. Trust me. Good for the new season. Want to try it? Let's try it. Thank you. <laughs> Mickey, here we are. This is our new theater. <laughs> last year, last year we did the show from the Center Theater. Good, good, good. And now we're doing the show from the Century Theater. Wait. It doesn't matter. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that'll be good. We, uh, we had some great stars playing here. Wait till I say it. <laughs> Lawrence Olivier. Ethel Barrymore, and, and, <laughs> Sir Cedric Hardwick. Good. <laughs> now, and now, now comes the real punchline. Yeah. You know, the last line. The and now, and now they've turned this theater into another television theater right. for a great, great name, Milton Berg. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? What was that? Got to be a heckler in every can. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, hey, that's a good idea. Can laughs. Can laughs is a great idea. And you want me to tell you something? What? I like this idea, Can. I think my sponsor will go for this idea. Why? What do you mean? Because I heard him saying the other day that if we don't get more laughs on the Buick show, let's can Burl. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he meant. <laughs> no, they wouldn't can me. Wouldn't? No, I was, I was thinking about... I was thinking about that kid we met outside. Do I need a big publicity stunt to start the first season off? Publicity stunt? Milton, listen. You, you need to have your name on every person's lips in America. I should, huh? It's very important to you. Yeah. Because after all, when they say Frank, right away you think of Sinatra. That's right. When they say of Ike. Yeah. When they say Ike, yeah. right away you think of our great president, President I, Eisenhower. Yeah. And when they, say, when they say Marilyn, right away you think of Joe DiMaggio. Right? <laughs> right? You think of DiMaggio. I'll think of Marilyn. Sure. <laughs> Come here, I want to have an Andy Hardy to Hardy talk with you. I, I, I don't understand. I want to have an Andy to Hardy. Oh, now that's right. Oh, there's another case in instance. I, I got news for you. A case. Look, at, you say Andy Hardy right away. Who do you think of right away, huh? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I say Andy Hardy, you think of Marilyn Monroe? You can mention cornflakes, I'll think of Marilyn Monroe. Pillsbury <laughs> flower. Uh, but I, I see what you mean, Mickey, by nicknames. I exactly... Nicknames are very important, Milt. They what? Yes, they're very important they're nicknames. Very important. Let, let, let me show you what I mean right now. They're very important. Oh, names, names, nick, nick, name, nick, nick, name, 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 name. Your name is James. They call you John. Your name is Maxwell. Yeah. They call you Max. Very good. They call you James. Yeah. They call you Jim. Yeah. And if you are old skin and bones, they call you Slim. Right. If your name is William, they call you Will. If your name is Philip, they call you Bill. Yeah. If your name is Alfred, they call you Al. You don't know your name. Hey, they, they call, call you Pal. Pal. Nick, 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 nick
Morris. Yes. They call you Mo. What else? Your name is Joseph. What do they call you? They call you Joe. That's right. Your name is Frederick. <laughs> they call you Fred. Right, Mel. And if you have a freckled face, they, they call, call you Red. Red. If your name is William, they call you Will. Yes. If your name is Philip, they call you Bill. If your name is Alfred, they call you Al. Yes. If you don't know your name, hey, they call you Pal. Yes. A wise man once said, What's in a name? A rose is a rose. Sing it, Dad. A rose. Oh, I'm singing it. Black man. His name is arranged by the mother you. And then you fool me, you know? <laughs> to a little name. Your name is Lennon. Yes, they call you They what? call you Lenny. Lenny, Lenny. Your name is Heathcliff. What do they call you? They call you Henny. That's right, Mel. Your name is Daniel. Yeah, what do they call you? They call you Dan. Yeah. And dig that crazy jive. Uh, they call you man. man. Yeah. If your name is how arms, they call you Larry. If your name is Harold, they call you Harry. Yeah. Your name is Lay Louis, they call you Lou. If your name is Stuart, they call you Stu. If your name is Richard, they call you Dick. If your name is Nicholas, they call you Nick. If your name is Terence, they call you Terry. If your name is Gerald, they call you Jerry. If your name is William, they call you Will. If your name is Philip, they call you Phil. If your name is Alfred, they call you Al. And if you don't know your name, and if they don't know your name, they call you I just heard about it. What's the matter with you? Uh, what happened? Yeah. What happened? What happened? I, 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 nothing. Nothing at all. I just broke a leg. That's all. Broke a leg. Which one? Yeah. yeah. Which one did you break? Right there. I... Doesn't seem broken to me. It don't? No. No, not this one. No. How about this one? <laughs> How about this one? I'll, uh... I'll call a doctor for no, you, Mel. Please, I'll Mickey, call a doctor Mickey, for you right Mickey, away. Mickey, what's the matter? Don't call a doctor, please. No? This is just a big publicity stunt, you see. It'll get in all the papers. I can see the headlines now. Yeah. Milton Gleason... I mean, Milton uh, Burrow... <laughs> Milton Burrow breaks his leg. I can see it all in the papers. I can see it. I, I got... I got news for you. I know, I know what you're doing now. What do you mean? You know, you not only steal other comics' gags, you're stealing their accidents. I was... Are you kidding? <laughs> stealing their accidents. That's, That's very funny. That's right. Don't kid around with me there, yeah, won't he? Yeah, Nobody breaks a leg like Burrow. What do you mean? <laughs> and I do it with the original cast, too. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, this is going to be in the front pages. It's going to be sensational. Get it right on, Mel. Walk around like this. Yeah. Everybody think I broke Hey, this will be a sen sensational idea. Hey, oh, gosh. I live, see? Yeah. I'm going to... Yeah, you got it. I'm going to call a columnist. You want to call a columnist? I think I'll call Dorothy Kilgallen at the Journal American. Right. One, get her on wonderful the idea. Boy. Wonderful idea. So all you need in show business, one good break. Hello? Hello, Dorothy? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, uh... Dorothy, yes? st stop the presses, tear out the front page. Have I got a story for you? Is it bigger than a bread box? I... <laughs> Dorothy, wait, what do you mean bigger? If it's bigger than both of us, look, you, you know who this is, don't you? Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? <laughs> I am a profit-making organization. This is Milton Berle. Oh, there's a product involved. Product? Corn. <laughs> no, Dorothy, this is serious. This is serious. I, I broke my leg. Uh, do you wear it above the waist or below the waist? <laughs> I wear it below the garter belt. <laughs> Dorothy, will, will you please stop what's maligning me? I, I broke my leg while I was rehearsing my show. Isn't that some story, huh? Well, of course it is, Milton. I thought you were kidding. I'm not kidding at all. If it's serious, I'll print it. Uh, what hospital are you in? What did you say? What? I said, what hospital are you in? The hospital. Huh? She wants to know what hospital is. Uh, the, uh, the Bel Bellevue. 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 I'm, I'm at the... <laughs> I'm at the Bellevue Hospital. Bellevue? Okay, Milton, I'll be right down. Yeah, just wait a minute. Just hey, a... Milton, this is a very important story. Why don't you talk to Jack O'Brien, our television editor, and we'll both come down to see you. I'll connect you with him. Just a minute. Operator... Operator. She fell for it. She, she fell did. for the whole thing. For the whole she, thing. She's gonna she's gonna connect me with Jack O'Brien. Good. They're coming down to see me. Right. Hey, wait a minute. What am I gonna do about a hospital? Well, I, I to get through talking to Jack O'Brien, I'll call an ambulance and take you over to the hospital. Right. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Hello, this is Jack O'Brien's office. Uh, I'd I'd like to speak to Jack O'Brien. This is Milton Burrow. Oh, just a moment. It's for you, Mr. O'Brien. Uh, Milton Burrow's on the phone. 
Tell him I'm out. Tell him I'm sick. Tell him I just dropped dead. Tell him. He's out. He's sick. He just dropped dead. He's out. He's sick. He just dropped dead. But, but tell him I got a big scoop for him. He's got a big scoop for you. Mm, all right. I'll talk to him. Here he is, Mr. Burrow. Yeah. I just caught him at the elevator on the way down. <laughs> Mr. Television. Oh, hello, hello, Jack. How are you? How are you? How are you? Big story. Well, Jack, I got sad news for you. I, I broke a leg. Yeah. Whose? <laughs> Whose? Mine. I, I broke my leg while I was rehearsing the show, and I, I'm in Bellevue Hospital. Bellevue. Yeah. Good, good. I'll be right down. We'll take a lot of pictures. Besides, yeah. I got a bone to pick with you. You got a bone to pick with me? Yeah. Well, you better hurry up while there's some left. <laughs> Okay. okay. Now, now look, Mickey. Yeah. Call up and get an ambulance right away. I gotta get down there right away. Well, I'll take care of everything. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah, do that. Hello. Get the Bell Give me the Bellevue Hospital, please. Hello. Hello, Bellevue Hospital. Would you send an ambulance over, please? Century Theater, please. Pick up Mr. Milton Burrow. That's right. He's in great pain. I know you're busy. I know you're busy, but I want him to be picked up right immediately. That's right. Look, I know Mr. Irving Bellevue, and I don't want to have to go to the top, sir. He's a one... Thank you. We'll appreciate it. Milton, he's a... <laughs> Fast service you have just seen was made possible because the ambulance used was a Buick. doesn't look right. Uh -huh. We'll have to remove the cast and break the leg again. <laughs> break, break the leg. No, no, you don't. You see, you see, well, I have complete confidence in my doctor. My doctor said the leg is all right. He, he said it'll be my complete confidence in my doctor. And your doctor? Yes, sir. Who is your doctor? Uh, the doctor, um... Yes? Um, who's my doctor? Uh, huh? My doctor. Oh. Ah, I am his doctor. <laughs> my name is Dr. Gillespie. <laughs> have studied medicine. <laughs> and then there was Dr. Kinsey. Well, I happen to know that I would put this leg before any jury. Now, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I assure you that this man is not going to the chair. I happen to know that if I separate... I'll take the leg right You're away. You're separating the I leg. Have stop it. Please. Just a moment, please. Yeah. Uh, are you an M.D.? Am oh, I? yes. Yeah, he's an M.D. He's a midget doctor. That's what he's a midget doctor. I still say this leg is not set correctly. Now, just a moment. You're telling me that I didn't make a proper analysis? I happen to know that the shin bone is connected to the thigh bone. The thigh bone is connected to the bone. And the bone is connected to the pelvis bone. The pelvis bone is connected to the femur bone. Stop it! Please, please! Quiet! Quiet! Oh, I can't stand this. I gotta get out of here. I can't stand this. Mickey, Mickey, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, just a minute, All right, Mr. the bit is over. The bit is over. What? Now, stop it. You I'm went sorry. over before you really ruined the whole thing. I'm sorry, Mel. If you want to help do, you. You want to help me? That's right. Then get me a nurse. Someone that looks like Grable. Now, listen here, darling. You know, you got I said Grable, not Gable. <laughs> <laughs> Will you 
help me out, please? I'll help you anyway. I'm I expecting can. Dorothy Kilgallen yes. and Jack O'Brien here any minute. Yes. So I was. Uh, here we are. Oh. There's your bed right over there. Oh. Oh. Nurse, nurse, what's the meaning of it? Who's this fellow? Who is he? Why, he's a patient. A patient? Yes, and he's sharing this room with you. Sharing this room? Nothing. I have a room all by myself. We're very crowded. We have no private room. Oh no, well, I'll see the ones higher up. You, you, you get me Blue Cross on the phone. You get me the medic or young Dr. Malone. Mr. Burrow, you'll have to be quiet. This man needs his rest. He does? That's right. And I want you to go right to sleep. I'll be back in an hour to wake you up and give you a sleeping pill. <laughs> Mickey! Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't feel so well. No? I think I'm going to take a turn for the nurse. <laughs> Please, will you do? It's the way they wrote it. I'm sorry. So oh, everything happens to me. Oh. Uh, what's what's the matter, buddy? What's the matter? Uh, Tell me. I was feeling all right until yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is pitiful. Everything happened. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey. Francis, this is a nice gesture of you coming in to see me. I want to shake your hand. This is wonderful for you to come to see me here. Anytime, anytime you're in a hospital, I'll be very glad to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You should only be in a hospital as many times as I'd be glad to see you there. Thank you. Thank you. I think. I think. So what's the matter with you, I hope? I was... What's the matter with me? I broke my leg. Can't you see? Francis, this is my broken leg. Oh, hey, do. I was... Oh, all right. Now, that's fine. That's fine. You come to the hospital, you want to make fun of me. You have no feelings laughing at me. How would you like to be lying here? Next to you? Yeah. Yeah. I would... <laughs> How do you like that? A star on television for seven years, and you say, Ich. I feel like I'm the seven-year Ich. Seven-year Ich. No, don't start now. Seven now, don't start now. That gorgeous now, please. Oh, oh, that's marvelous. Take it easy. Marvelous. Take... I think that's so... Oh, such no. a dog. Yeah. Such a mind. Very good. Thanks. That's worthy of a twain. A twain? Mark twain? Choo choo twain. You should be hit by one already. Was... <laughs> yeah, see here, and I want to... Take your antiseptic appendages off the alpaca. Antiseptic appendages? You are fogging up the fiberglass. I was fogging up the fiberglass. And I'll tell you another thing. What do you want? Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what happened to the broken leg? Oh, the broken leg. The broken leg. <laughs> There it is, right there. Oh, how do you do? Yeah, I, we met before. Uh, oh, I see the whole thing already. It's what? a fake. It's a phony. No, it isn't. I see it. Please, look. This is a big publicity stunt. It's a trivial publicity stunt. It's a trivial publicity stunt. Yeah, it'll be I on knew, the front pages. Front pages. I knew right away you were a fake. I always said Milton Berle was a phony no, and please, a fake. Don't, don't speak. Milton Berle's a fake. Please. Please. Hey, Milton Berle's a fake. Please. He's a fake. Please. Milton a fake. Please. 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 On the phony. I was <laughs> Francis, now, please, I'll have you know that I'm a very important man. Woo. You're such a big man. Yeah. How come you haven't got a private nurse? I have got a private nurse. She's standing outside. Sure, she's outside. She come in here. She take one look at you. She'll get sick to her was... stomach. Stars like me do not grow on trees. You should be hanging from one. I was. <laughs> Francis. Now listen, if you keep this idea quiet, the publicity stunt, I'll give you a five dollar raise. I got a better deal for you. What? You listening? Yeah. Break your leg for real. I'll take a ten dollar cut. I was. <laughs> oh, Francis, please, please, Francis, you gotta help me. You gotta help me. I'm expecting newspaper people here any minute, and I, I need a little comfy. I need a little rest and peace. Be my guest. Rest and peace. I was. <laughs> Francis, please, do me a favor. Yeah. I don't want this guy to hear me. Don't say a word about this to anybody. And I'll give you the $5 raise. I'll tell you the truth. I'll take it because I need the raise. You, do? you know, I need the money. It puts me in a better income bracket, you yeah. know? The nouveau poor. The nouveau poor. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my lips are sealed. Yeah. My lips are sealed. I go now, master. My lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. Goodbye, master. My lips are sealed. Come to think of it, he does look like a seal. Oh, boy, am I sorry that I ever... Oh, 
listen, buddy, I can't stand you moaning all sitting next. There... What's the matter? What's the trouble? You tell me, what's the trouble? You wouldn't believe it. Yes, I will. Tell me, what's the trouble, please, before we get back? Quick. Well, a couple of months ago, yeah. my wife said to me. You, yeah. So I went to a doctor. You went to the doctor, yeah. I'd see. Water. You want some water? Yeah, sure. There's some water. There's some water. Drink it up quick. That's it. Drink it. That's fine. Now, tell me, what, what, what is it? Sush. More water. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now tell me. What's... Sush. Yeah. There you are. There's some more water. Now, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What, what, what's happened? What happened? What happened? Well, I'll give it to you from the tank. <laughs> a clock, buddy. You should be goggling with Drano. Now, will you do me a favor and rest up no. everything? Yeah. Milt! Yeah. I've got a visitor outside for you. She's here. She's here. I'll bring her right in, Milt. I gotta get yourself I gotta get I can't get it on. I just heard you broke your leg. Yeah, I broke my leg. Don't worry, Milt, and I won't let them shoot you. I was trying to stop bossing around. Will you max, please? My leg. That poor leg. Yeah, I was. Ah, I thought you broke your leg. Well, I did break it. I broke my leg, but it's it's spreading. It's spreading. Don't worry, Milton. I'll take care of you. I'll be your nurse. Yeah. I'll be your Florence Nightingale. I would. Was... Don't start the pajama game. No, will you do me? I just bought this book, Milton. Yeah. It tells me how to take care of you. What's the name of the book? This book. Oh. Francis, I think, I mean, Max, he just left. Will you take rid of that book and get rid of yourself, Don't please? Don't fight it. I'm not fighting it. I'm lying here flat on my... It's bigger than both of us. Stop it! <laughs> I'm expecting Dorothy Kilgallen here any minute and Jack O'Brien. I'm expecting. I'm expecting here any well, minute. Well, congratulations. It's a beautiful baby boy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Nurse, please. You got the wrong mother. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, baby! Have this... You're not Uncle Milky, you're Auntie Milky. I'm sorry. Nice. Get that, uh, get that nurse back quick. Yes, right no. away. She, she made a mistake. Nurse. Quick. What kind of a hospital nurse. this is. I never heard such a hospital in my life. They put a baby in my arms here. I never... I... <laughs> uh, hello. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Jack. What about the broken leg? The, the what? The broken leg. The broken leg. A baby. Yes. This must be one of those NBC spectaculars. Yeah. No, no, they, you don't understand. You see, that they, they... This is bigger than the Lucille Ball story. No, you, you don't... You don't understand. Get a picture. Don't take a picture, get please. A picture. Don't. Ah! No, please. Please, they made a mistake. I, I broke my leg, Jack. I broke my leg. Yeah, well, where's the broken leg? I was... Oh, oh here's the broken leg. Right... One, I'm awfully sorry. I, I, I didn't... Mr. Burrow, yeah. give me that baby. I, I made a terrible mistake. I should say you made a good big mistake. Give that baby back to the person it belongs to. I certainly will. Sure. Here you are, sir. Here's your baby. You? I told you you wouldn't believe it. Oh, no. And you were saying just what you're thinking of. Sweet love. So keep on dancing. 
Baby backfires. <laughs> they refer to you as the king of television, you know, all the time in here in variety. Yeah. They refer to you as the queen of television. <laughs> Very funny. Sorry, Milk. Just say that. Right there. Milton Burl is America's number one comedian. <laughs> Very funny. Milk, never mind what they say in there. We're gonna do a great show together when we do it. I got you know what I was figuring, Mickey. What? I was just figuring out something. What? Publicity. Publicity is no substitute for a good show. You're right. Huh? I mean that, seriously. I mean that. Publicity is... And when we do a show, Mickey, we won't depend on publicity. That's a lot. Thanks a lot, Milt. I'll see you at rehearsal. Right, sweetie. So long. Bye. Bye, Mickey. <laughs> yep. Publicity is also no substitute for a very, very good automobile. And as you know, ladies and gentlemen, Buick is now outselling all other cars except two of the low-priced three, and that is a complete upset. You know, traditional sales standings show that month by month, Buick sales zoom higher and higher. So uh, why don't you see why this happens? Why don't you drive a sensational 54 Buick yourself? Your Buick dealer will be very, very happy to put you behind the wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, next week, uh, I will be off, and I will only be on twice a month. So we're going to take it easy now. This being the seventh season in television, we first started our first show back June 8th. June 8th, back in 1948, for our other very wonderful sponsor, Texas Company. And... Uh, we, uh, we're very, very grateful on behalf of this seventh year. Very grateful that 
you have been such a very, very wonderful audience, all you people that have been watching the shows and sending in your letters. And you know, this is a very, very funny racket, but um, you know, when I first started quite a few years ago, back in 19, the season of 1948, I did my first show, I said to myself, I said, gee, Burl, how are you going to make it? How are you going to last out the season? Well, after the fourth show, I got a little more energy and uh, got some more writers, and uh, we sort of came through. But this could have not been possible, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I say, without the aid of you very wonderful viewers that keep watching our show. So we want you to keep watching it on behalf of the Buick Dealers of America. And may I just say, ladies and gentlemen, that next week, uh, the very, very hilarious and very sensational Miss Martha Ray will uh, jump into the Tuesday night spot at 8 to 9, Eastern Standard Time, with a very, very hilarious show featuring Wally Cox and Rocky Graziano. Then I will be back the week after that, October 5th, that's two weeks from tonight, with my guest stars, Fernando Lamas and uh, Arlene Dahl. And as usual, I heard a ooh here. Did I hear an ooh? Who for Fernando or Arlene? <laughs> Both. And then we'll have as our steadies Ruth Max Gilbert, Arnold Francis Tang, and our new little star, Nancy Walker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Alan Roth and the entire show, may I sincerely thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You've been a very wonderful audience. And I'd like to leave you with just one thought, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to say there's just one place for me, and that's near you. It's been a pleasure this evening. Once again, in the beginning of the seventh year, for me to be so close and so near you. How about all of us making a date for two weeks from tonight, Tuesday night, October 5th at 8th? Will we? I'll try to make show business bloom right inside your living room. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now that our show is all through, may I say, the Buick dealers of America thank you, and you, and you, and you. And so, farewell. It's been swell.